All right, guys, today we're gonna look at this, this Atari Touch tablet with Art, Atari Artist software, which is this cartridge here. Design or draw print screen graphics in 128 brilliant colors. Works comfortably from desk or lap. So basically you can hold this thing on your lap. Includes graphic software cartridge. Here's the back of it. This is from like around 1984. It came out with the Atari 1200. It was around when the Atari 1200 XL was coming out. It actually says on this box, even though it came around in 84, it still says uh, Warner Company. So this is when Warner still owned the Atari, you know, it was in, in that period of transition between uh, Warner and Tramel technology. Uh, these things apparently are a little bit more on the rare side for the Atari 8-bit line for a peripheral. Uh, there was distribution issues with this apparently, but there's not a huge volume of software that's uh, compatible with this. It works with this drawing program. There was other uh, third-party drawing uh, software applications that would work with this. So this one I picked up. A guy locally was trying, you know, just getting rid of some of his stuff and had a whole whack of Atari. Saw this and I thought, well, just, it's really cool that, you know, this touch tablet, how Atari was ahead of, basically Atari's first computer tablet. Maybe, maybe there was one before this, but the first one I know of, definitely in the early days. This, it's not a light up screen or anything like that. Basically this just works the, uh, this is just like a giant touchpad that would work on your Atari. You can actually use your finger to uh, to move the cursor around, or you can use the stylus. The stylus has a wire just to control the button. That's all it really does. You can use a pen or anything else really will work uh, with this to move uh, the... You do have to press harder, and I don't know if that's because it's just the way the earlier technology was compared to what like a newer... Um, you know, when you're using a laptop computer or just your phone or whatever, but I feel it does feel like you do have to press a little bit harder. Uh, it has four buttons, so there's actually th uh, three buttons. There's a button here on the pen if you have it plugged in, and it has this and this uh, right and left buttons, but the right and left buttons just do the same thing. Remember, this is Atari, so it just has that. I'm not sure. Oh, it does. So I got the joystick plugged into port two and the joystick button will, will switch the screen on and off. And it comes with this Atari Artist cartridge. Definitely from the Warner area era. This is like toward the end of the, uh, when Warner owned Atari, the uh, Atari 8-bit computers and they split Atari into two different companies, but uh, Tramel Technology became Atari Corp, uh, was the one that released the later computers after, uh, after 83, 84, and after, and after that was uh, pretty much the uh, tr uh, Atari Corp went till about the 90s, and then they sold it to JDS, uh, JTS or JDS <laughs> uh, hard drive company. So when you take the cartridge, you can stick this into your computer. Now this also would come with the disc. Uh, the disc. I don't have the disc with this unit. It came with the um, with the cartridge, which I like the cartridge better. Because the cartridge you just pop it in, and there you go. I didn't have a disc drive for this thing. I do have this thing here now. This uh, SD card solution, so I can get all the computer stuff that will run on an Atari XE. I can run it off of an SD card with this, which is great. So I got Atari Artist here going. It's got, I do have a cursor, but that's from my computer using the video capture software. And there, I'm in the program. I don't know if there's a whole lot of options or just basically select will take you back and forth to the menu, which same thing with the one button does with this. Take your stylus and you can write, I'll sign off here. Write my name in a yellow. I mean, if you get used to it, you could probably get, you can get really good at doing this. It has a zoom feature, so you can zoom right in on the pixels. The only thing is, 
I don't see an undo uh, selection where say you just did your yeah, do a line here or a box. I'll do a box. So when you draw a box on here, it goes over like that. It's not compatible using an Amiga mouse. Plugging it into that, it just sort of makes it flop around. There's not the compatibility. When I move the mouse, it just switches between screens. So for the purpose of this video, I just thought, well, maybe I could try it on the Amiga 1000, but the touchpad doesn't work there. It has a different, uh, different type of setting. There's different ST mouses, there's Amiga mouses, and then this was like a separate system that they had for the Atari. So one thing I found was kind of neat with uh, this is so you can kind of use the paddle controllers now my paddle controllers these ones have like you can see the way the movement of uh, the crosshairs on my screen here is the paddle controllers don't stay s in the same spot all the time so using the, the paddle controller I don't know if they'll let me press the button oh yeah there so <laughs> So basically, this is like uh, an Etch-a-Sketch when you use the paddle controller. Just sort of place your paddle controllers like on your TV like this, and you got yourself a giant Etch-a-Sketch with your Atari, uh, Atari Artist software. There we go. So I'm drawing a line here. There we go. Just doing a line <laughs> back and forth with the paddle controllers. <laughs> just thought that was kind of neat. That. Uh, you can use the paddle controllers with Atari Artist and use it as an Etch-a-Sketch. If you're good at doing Etch-a-Sketches, which I, I am not. Oh, look, look. So I'm drawing in, drawing in here, just going with the, with the things here and, and sort of just drawing in this area. But you're probably, if someone's much more skilled than I am, they could use this as a giant Etch-a-Sketch and save your Etch-a-Sketch. Instead of shaking it, if you had an Atari disk drive, you can save it. So there you go, that's my look at the Atari Touch tablet, hooking it up to the Atari XE computer. If you used one of these back in the day, let me know, or if you wanted one of these, let me know. I know what the question is with, uh, will it work with the ST or the 16-bit computers? It'd be kind of interesting to find that part out too. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please check out my YouTube channel, Robbie Strike, and check out all the technology videos and reviews that I've done covering satellite, free to air, cell phone, how to do stuff in Linux, how to do stuff in shortwave and old technology and doing neato things with computers.